Meanwhile, over at the KMT, the notorious rivalry between KMT legislator Wang Jingping and former President Ma Ying-jeou is making headlines again after a new claim that Wang had been favored in the KMT as a presidential candidate back in 2016. Wang made the claim himself, and he says he declined to get involved in the election at the time. But analysts say that Wang had lost that nomination to the opposition from his nemesis in the presidential office. Praying before the gods, former President Ma is the picture of composure, giving no sign of the roiling tensions in the KMT ahead of the primaries. Prospective candidate Wang has disclosed that in 2015, he had been Eric Chu's top choice for Hong Xiaoju's replacement. But the plan never came to pass. Pundits speculate that former President Ma had made his objections known, rendering the plan dead in the water. I was unaware of this matter at the time. I learned about it only yesterday. <laughs> at any rate, this matter is already in the past. Back in 2015, when the party central committee decided to change the candidate, of course they began reaching out as they renewed the selection process. It was at that time that they reached out to me. I absolutely did not get involved. Absolutely not. So let there be no misunderstanding here. This time around in the KMT's presidential primaries, declared candidate Eric Chu has said that the sooner it happens, the better. But the rumored candidates say that there is no rush. In the past, we have held the primaries around May or June. The KMT took a drubbing in the last presidential election after changing its horse in midstream. This time, the party's heavyweights are mapping out strategy with caution as they seek to win the most favorable result.